Hey guys, welcome to the 90th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the list view control. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is um, basically all this what I have right here this stuff, text box for the full name, one for their age, one for their email address, and then a button so we can add this person into a list view. And then we're going to need a list view control. So, just go over to the toolbox and drag a list view over. I'm just going to resize it accordingly so it fits this a lot nicer. Alright, so basically what a list view um, does is it basically allows you to sort data. What we're going to be using it for today is we're going to be making a table. So the first step in doing that is clicking this little triangle right here and then going down to edit columns. So we're going to have three columns. We're going to have um, one for the person's name. So we're just going to call the name of this and just set the text of it to bold name. The next one will say age and the final one will be email address. I'm just going to click OK and right away you cannot see them and that's because the view is on large icon. We're going to want to change that to details so we'll now be able to see a table. You can just resize these uh, columns by like clicking right here on the little divider and dragging. I'm going to make the full name about that age is probably good and I'll just make the email address the rest of it. Um, first thing that you're probably going to want to do is go down here and set grid lines to true so that you'll be able to see grid lines in your list view. I just think that makes it look a lot nicer. You can also set full row select to true and if you don't have this on when you select an item in the list view it will only highlight the text in the first column and not the rest of them but if you set this to true it will highlight across the entire row. And I think that looks a lot nicer. And also, you're probably going to want to select or set multi line or multi select to false so that you cannot select multiple items. Now, we're actually going to get into adding um, items to the list view. So, we're just going to go ahead and double click on this add person button right here. Alright, so the first step is creating a new list view item. So, we're going to type out um, list view item, I'll call it LVI for list view item, and set it equal to a new list view item. And what we're going to pass through the constructor right here is basically what we want the text to be of in this first column. And we're going to want that text to be whatever the full name that the user puts in this text box. So we'll do textbox1.text right here. Textbox1.text. Alright. And then we're going to do lvi.subitems.add. And basically, we'll do these for all of the other columns. So if we want age, that's the next column in line. So we're going to do the age. So we're going to do this text box right here, which is text box 2. So we're going to do text box 2.text. And then we're going to do subitems again for the email, since the email is the last. And yes, you do have to do, do these in order. So the one that we pass through the constructor right here will be for the first column. And all the rest, the sub-item ones, will go in order of these. So since the next one is age, this one will be for age, and the next sub-item that we add will be for the email address. So we're just going to do lvi.subitems.add. And then we're going to add the textbox3.text because um, that's where the user will input the email address. And basically right here we've just created a new list view item. We haven't actually added it to the list view. So in order to add it to the list view, we're going to do list view one dot items. And then we're going to use the add method to add this new item that we created to the list view. And also once we're all done here, we're just going to set all these text boxes text equal to an empty string. So we're just going to do text box one dot text equals nothing, textbox 2.text equals nothing, and textbox 3.text equals nothing. Alright, so now I need to debug here. When we type in a client's name, I'll just type in Adam, I'll just type in Smith, I guess, for the last name. The age, I'll just type in my age, and the email address, I'll just type in my email address. So now when we click add person, we should see it uh, appear in here and it should clear all these text boxes. 
Yep, jump down here, it's now displayed in the table. Can add another one. If you wanted to add another one, let's do like John Doe, who is 24, and the email address is jdoe at gmail.com. Add. Yep, it adds that person as well. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to get into more things in the list view. So, see you guys.